Hey folks, welcome back to Niche Learns to Code. In today's video, we'll see how to apply for the CERN Fellowship Program. There's Junior Fellowship and Senior Fellowship. And in today's video, I'll show you step by step how to apply for the Fellowship Program. This won't take a lot of time. Let's get started. Here we are on Google.com, plain old and simple Google. I'll simply search CERN Careers. We arrive at the first link, careers.cern. We'll click on this and open this. This is the official web page for CERN Careers. Over here, we have two sections. One is for professionals and one is for student opportunities. To apply for the fellowship program, we will open the professional sections before this because the fellowship program is not for students. It is for graduated professionals. You have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. So we have uh, multiple professional positions at CERN. We have star position, scientific associates, corresponding associate, fellowship programs. And of course, we'll click on fellowship programs. Okay, now there's a little cast over here. There are two types of fellowships. There are junior fellowships and senior fellowships. And before applying to the program, you should know which program you need to apply to. You are only eligible for one. You're maybe eligible for a senior fellowship or you're maybe eligible for a junior fellowship. You're not eligible for both simultaneously. So in the junior fellowship, uh, it is there for nationals of the member or associate member states with a bachelor's or master's degree and no more than four years of experience after completing your highest diploma. So if you have more than four years of experience after completing a bachelor's or master's degree, you are not eligible for the junior fellowship. And in that case, you need to apply for the senior fellowship. And in the senior fellowship, if you have a PhD or at least four years experience after your master's degree or equivalent diploma, which gives access to doctoral programs and a maximum of 10 years of experience. So you should have either have your PhD or if you don't have your PhD, you need to have your master's degree. And after your master's degree, you need to have four years of minimum four years of experience. So if you do not have, maybe you have your master's degree, but you don't have four years of experience. In that case, you will once again need to apply for the junior fellowship. So please read these uh, criteria carefully so that you apply to the correct fellowship and you don't get rejected because of, because you apply to the wrong fellowship opportunity. All right. So now we have multiple openings over here. Once you have decided whether you need to apply for junior fellowship or senior fellowship, you can have a look at the openings. So for example, we have this opening here for junior fellowship program. This is like a generic opening. So when you apply to this, you're applying to like all departments at CERN who are currently looking for junior fellowship. And um, we even have this computing fellowship, data and analysis infrastructure engineer for open science. So if you're into data analysis, machine learning, AI, data, retrieval system, something like that. This may be the opportunity for you. So I'm just going to oh, click on this junior fellowship program. Let's say that I need to apply for this. I did apply for this. And you should read these uh, instructions carefully. These are the qualifications. These are the minimum qualifications that are required. So I highly recommend that you go through this page before applying. And you can of course also have a look, go through this additional information, which will provide you some apart important information before you apply. And yep, these are all the documents that you will, you will need to provide. You will need to provide a resume. You will need to provide your most relevant. So the most recent degree that you have completed bachelor's or master's, you will need to provide that degree, like a copy of that to prove that you have done that. And three letters of recommendations, no older than a year at the time of the deadline of applications. So these letter of recommendations, you can ask maybe your teachers, your professors, or maybe a work some place before you've done some internships, you have some work experience, you can ask those people to provide you letter of recommendations. So in total, all you need is your resume, you need your degree, like valid bachelor's or master's degree, and you need to have your letter of recommendations. And with these armed with these things, you can click on I'm interested, and you can apply for this junior fellowship or senior fellowship. Now, uh, the application form is very small, actually, it's not a very large form, you can easily fill this form out in maybe two hours, three hours, easily in one day. So I highly recommend that you use a sign in with LinkedIn button, because if you sign in with LinkedIn, all of your details from LinkedIn, your work history and education history will automatically be filled in this form and you won't have to type, every, uh, type out everything like one by one. So if you use LinkedIn, all of the details will automatically be filled and you can only trim them or prune them a little to make them more finer or to like embellish them, add something else extra that you want. Message to the hiring manager. So this is something that you can use to maybe write like a letter of motivation or statement of purpose, why you would like to work at CERN. Once this is done, not a very big form, you simply click on next and 
the process should be completed. That's it. That's how you apply for junior or senior fellowship pro position program at CERN. Thank you very much for having me. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.